Nako sa ito. What? Hello there, Barbara here for the Pajama Boss channel. Hello, today in Probing Issues, we'll talk about Facebook and using this app with caution. This is my daughter Celine and we posted all of our videos and photos online and when hackers took hold of it we thought we lost everything and I was just thankful that I posted the same videos and photos in my own account not just on her account. The photos were from when she was starting modeling at a very young age. So when her account was hacked I thought we are saying goodbye to the good old memories. So that is the reason why we need to monitor our kids' activities online. So if we allowed them to have an FB account at that age, you know, at the very young age, then it is our responsibility to take control of it. So here are the settings that could help you secure your kids' account. Go to settings and then settings and privacy. So scroll down to audience and visibility. You will see profile and tagging. Here you can see viewing and sharing. Then you can use your personal description on this one, depending on what settings you would like to see on these tabs. So the following security features will allow you to control who can tag you or what kind of materials you want to be tagged. This part here will still be under your discretion. But one most important feature here is the one that allows you to check on pornography or explicit materials that are being tagged into your account so that you can control it, you can delete it before it gets posted on the wall. So just slide it to turn it on and you will get notification and you'll be able to screen the tags. This is really important, especially when scrupulous people, you know, tag you with pornography and any other vulgar materials. Now let's go back to the settings main screen and let's go for password and security. Just scroll up and you will see it at the top screen. Now this part here will show you the devices that you use to log in into your account so you will know exactly the location of the last login. This is also where you can enable additional security for your account. We do have code generator, two-factor authentication, and authorized logins. A combination of these three factors would be a very strong security for your account. So in case of unauthorized login, this authentication will allow you or Facebook will send a verification code into your assigned cell phone or assigned email address just to make sure you are the one who is logging into your account. Under the code generator, you will be allowed to generate 10 codes that Facebook will ask just in case you lose your main mobile or you will have no access to your email. We are hoping that hackers will find it hard to crack the codes. So one additional security is that your devices are all remembered here. And if you logged in into a different and authorized device, you will be asked for your code. So it's really, really secure. So I hope you learned something today about security in Facebook and in the future. I don't want to hear any mother would say, oh, my daughter's account had been hacked or my account had been hacked. Let's stay safe. This has been Barbara and thank you so much for watching today. This is the Pajama Boss channel.